Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody wa- Seeing you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering, or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, Mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. You still need the password, Max the Hacker. You still need the password, Max the Hacker. Keep searching. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Nothing to see here. <sighs> try again. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password.
Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get him. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. That's cute. Could be a password here. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Instead of stalk, this is so wrong. Oh, creepy. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Listen, we don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David. And our family. Even if Chloe doesn't. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now.
Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's key. Damn, there has to be food for you somewhere. What is going on here? Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy, this is so creepy. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, a tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, a tornado? I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Like I said, I'm done talking about this. Good lord. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! You eat 
eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> what the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. <coughs> Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? That doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. What the fuck now? How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she... Thanks, Officer Barry. I'm glad you're representing Black Bullock. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What can I do for you, Max? I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. Awful. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. Damn, I really pissed him off. I need to go back. No need to go there now. No reason to go now.
Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Mm. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You get your school supplies, just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You hook your ass up. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit, what do you want now? No reason to go now. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What can I do for you, Max?
What the fuck now? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. My work here is done here, Frank. My work here is done here, Frank. I can't rewind anymore. Melissa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. I saw you try and save my friend Gate on that roof. The only one who did while people took camera pics. Kate was my friend too. I would have done anything to save her. Everybody saw that. I'm proud of you for being so brave. You're pretty cool, Max. That's not how I feel today, but thanks. We need to hang out more, drink some wine. I have to go, but let's talk later, cool? Thanks again, Max. Talk to you later. I don't want to go that way. Like I said, I'm done talking about this. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh, oh yeah, that sucks. Wish I could drive right out of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, that slut suicide. Listen, Kate Marsh was not a slut. She was severely depressed for good reasons. You didn't even know her, did you? I know all these Blackwell spoiled shit. Like that other loser I'd see around here, Rachel. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Uh, do they teach English over at that arty farty school? I'm done talking. Over and out.
so ominous. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm homeless. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Who are you? Max. Can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl killing herself at Blackwell. Mmm. Awful thing. Kate Marsh. I was with her when she jumped. I tried to save her. I swear I did. Oh, honey. That was her choice, not yours. Don't you carry that weight. Too late. And I had the power to change things. The more power you think you have, the less you do. Kate Marsh probably felt like she had nothing no more. I know the feeling. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who jumped. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. I don't want to go that way. Nope, I don't want to go there. Uh, do they teach English over at that arty farty school? I'm done talking. Over and out. Like I said, I'm done talking about this. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. <laughs> 